In this chapter, we will have look on Clip Geometry Shader. If I would like to create Clip Geo Shader, there are many options how to do it. The simplest one is to control surface opacity by selection. How to create selections from State Node, Ramp Node or UV Map, I explained already in beginner's chapters. And here is again couple of examples for inspiration. Once you create selection or mask which defines clip geo shape, all what you have to do is to connect this output into the opacity color. Also, I'm sharing this C4D scene with you, so you can check out which node chain works best for your scene. And as you can see in this chapter, the main reason why I spend so much time to explain all these nodes and how to use them or even combine with mud nodes was that now I do not need to explain these details anymore because you perfectly understand how it works. So we are able to break down any kind of workflow fast and efficient. My favorite workflow for Clip Geo Shader is to use Vertex Map selection. Vertex Map allows me to work with fields, so I have full control over Clip Geo Shape or Fields animation. As example, I can use Box Field, or I can use different kind of field for even more interesting looking Clip Geo Shape. If I need more details around edges, I can use Shader Field. Overlay Blending allows me to create edges breakup, and as you can see, it produces interesting looking result. Don't forget that Vertex Map needs proper topology and mesh density. So if you are not able to see correct result, use different selection technique or remesh object topology. Once is your vertex map ready, use vertex attribute node exactly as I explained already in vertex weight map chapter. It allows you to use vertex map selection to control surface opacity, but also diffuse color and edge color as well. That's the reason why I'm using color layer node for this example. Here I can control now surface color and edge color separately. If you prefer vertex map colorization in a ramp node instead, you can skip color layer node and control colors in a ramp node exactly as you need. As you can see, there are many options how to control this effect. All depends just on your creativity now. Every single tool or parameter what you learned in previous chapters is fully under your control. So you are able to create field, selection or clip geo shader exactly as you need.